let's get started first mission of today is going to be doing the uh whatever it's called conquered systems clusters have already conquered see this is my first time i literally did all the tutorial so it's like i played this game in the past but it's like my first time going uh onto the uh galaxy map in this game so clusters are already conquered by the reaper uh Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using Normandy's stealth drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. So the first one we're gonna do is, uh, where is? That's the Citadel, that's where we're at right now. I think it's this one. Can't get tired of that. Search and rescue. The Normandy is equipped with new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around the system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system is to investigate is increased. The Reaper enters the systems and the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Oh man, dude, I do not remember that at all. Oh, oh my god. I got scared for a second there. I thought we were going to be stuck. Okay, so... Do we scan the entire thing now, or do we just... We already know the planet's names. Oh, okay. So you don't do the same thing as you usually did in uh, Mass Effect 2. So now we need to go here. Mine. Squad selection? Ah, who should I pick? Let's pick James and Liara. Do it. Yeah, 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 I think that's good. Not like we have much of other choice. Uh, weapons. It's cool that they they actually before you load out now. Oh well, technically technically they did that before. But modify. Okay. Tough decision, really. <laughs> it is. It is. Yo. Uh, thank you for the sub, man. I see that you've got a new badge and the sub uh, thing went up. Thank you, man. Kiara. Hey. We got two points. I put it in the arms master. <clears throat> and Liara. That was pretty intense. I didn't expect them to be here already. Oh no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy and the Reapers are obliterating it. 
Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Clear the landing zone. These husks got a lot more agility now. All right, get in, get out. Let's move. Get in, get out. Hi, brother. I'm getting off. Just wanted to stop by and say hi. Yo, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Saz. I appreciate it, man. And uh, have a have a good rest of your day or night or whatever it is. Thanks again. Try them again. Try them again. That's an order. Find the commanding officer. Got a new rifle. And a data pad. I'm assuming these are the Domestic, commanding officer. Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Barnes, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy, just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's yep, go. I see it too. I think I actually kind of remember this mission here. It's so weird, like playing through this entire game. They're just shooting at the dead bodies. <laughs> playing through these these games. Um, there's random moments like throughout the game that I'll completely remember and then there's other moments that it's uh, complete blank and it's so sporadic too. I mean it has been years and I definitely did not play this as much uh, or replay this as much as other people have because I was very much the type of person that even today where I still play something new we can't almost every week. Panel. Or two. Uh, James repair. James, you're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Ah, crap. I feel like I should have made her. Here they she's come. the tech. You bet. Let's take these monsters. I 
only reason I chose her to stay back is because she has her biotic abilities. But I guess he might have been better. <clears throat> Got it done, Commander. On my way down. Nice. Actually, not too bad. General, do you read? The comm tower is now operational. Appreciate it, Commander. I'll contact Palvin Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out. Sentry turret seems to be pretty cool. The tiny, tiny thing. I thought it was going to be something bigger, but I mean, it, it does the job sometimes, so it's not too bad. Commander Shepard, come in. Go ahead. I have information from Palavan Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. Level 33, nice. Alright, let's hit up squad. Um, I, I, I don't know what I'm focusing right now. I guess I, I could wait and do one for the combat drone, or I can keep doing that. This also gives me more health, um, so I should probably bump that up a bit. All right, that's fine for now, for them at least. Uh, Liara, that's fine. I'll put two into this. James, I'll give you fortification. We're getting the perfect amount of points to upgrade those right now, so it's it's not a big deal. We still got 60 levels to go, anyways. I mean, 30 levels to go, because the cap is 60. Wow, I almost missed these. I almost completely missed those. I need to do more exploring. Oh my God, dude, what the heck? I've just been running from spot to spot. I don't know if you can, uh, is there, put your weapons away? Option. Pistol magazine upgrade. Let's talk to General Corinthus. As your partner said, succession is usually simple, but right now the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. Garrus. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus. His name's crossed my desk. No one I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. 
What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay. Let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. Oh boy. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Yes. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! Oh boy. General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped up. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. <laughs> nice. All right. Just like old times. Hey, is that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Just me? Or do those reaper like Turians? You're right. They do. Defend the airfield? What's this? Oh, that's my turret. I think we're done here. That was quick. Is there any uh, equipment for us to grab? I keep accidentally rolling.
What the? Holy hell! What is that thing? Break yourself! <laughs> Shepard! Falls right off the edge. What's the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard, I think out. all these abilities Garrett, are really helping us out. Take me to the last out. place you saw Victus. Especially starting out at level 30. It's a big bump. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. of orange the big that's where i was born that's Damn. rough still have family there my dad a sister how bad is it three million lost the first day five the second how's your military holding up look around that should give you some idea you're putting up a good fight for now but how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of them if they'd only listen to your warnings about the reapers we might have been Henry. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Now more back here. Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling. I can't imagine if bastards. Earth was like this uh, to another planet. Should have left Earth. It's gonna like be bad IRL. All That'd be crazy. Leaving Looking into the sky off. and just like seeing you're here asking clear skies almost all the time. Leave the fight to make and nice another and planet. I'd be terrified. This summit is the only chance we've got. <laughs> By the other planet. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago, and it's south. Okay, good luck. Yes, yes, sir. How many troops in that crash? 50? 75? Not sure. Sounds right. I'll see a beautiful ship like that go down. Whoa. That was a little closer than I'd like. Yeah. So, Loco, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Solarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Tolarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe Rex will convince them. Guess we'll find out. That sounds bad. Okay, double time. The no way for taking this, this primark from around. me. Right behind Checking for uh, gear and equipment.
Looks grim. It's been a brutal fight for these guys. But the tide is turning. Turn up the heat. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. He's like, well, I'm in. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. <laughs> Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this moon. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Times Are you ready, three. Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But, if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Sorry, have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our lines would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Hmm. 
Can we use the war terminal? Uh, people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how efficient these assets will perform in the battlefield. Ah, I see. Minimum. And you need maximum. Basically. She's five points. So it's actually a point system. Interesting. That's cool though. Um, you wanted to talk? Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for him? going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. <laughs> Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood, real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. Wow, look at that. Two civil people. Talking it out. Uh, okay. So, journal. Let me see what we should do next. Pulling up the guide right now. So, we just did, uh... Alvin, next we'll do Eden Prime. Uh, da -da, okay. Cool. Yeah, we'll do that one in a sec Commander, second. Commander, Edie just went here. offline. What do you mean offline? Oh no, she's not responding, and I can't access the core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Come on. Com systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening, I'm trying to restart the systems, but something. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Meet me in purgatory. All these people putting in their their requests for help meet me immediately <laughs> literally that's like on point okay let's go down to deck three what was it yeah Was that an assignment or like, I don't know how these work. Garrus, Liara, let's go to Garrus. Oh, is the med bay. I see the two guys. Two of them are at the door right now. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow your lead. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. 
You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Uh... A transition? Cool. You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. <laughs> An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. <laughs> He's gonna love that. Cool. We got Edie now in uh, a robot body. Go back and chat with Garrus real quick. And then probably after we chat with him, then we'll make our way to um, Eden Prime. Never mind. Wait, is he I back know, here? Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look oh. good. We have to turn this around and fast. Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're going to need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. <laughs> so you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well... When things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, a certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Something else you want to talk about? That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Sounds good. Armor piercing ammo unlocked, available in medbay. Nice. 
Why is it the med bay? Is that down here? Reassign bonuses. Find powers. That reassign bonuses. Ah. Bring down heavy armor units, shoot through light cover to hit enemies. Uh, fortification and reinforce armor using protective offset currents. Purge the current and send its charge to your gauntlets. Let's do this one. Armor piercing. You only have one at a time. I'm assuming that's similar to like the advanced training that we had in the last, last game. I right, back up to the CIC. Who said that? Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Oh boy. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. All right, now I'm thinking that maybe we should do that first. Because you only have a limited amount of time to be able to do this one before you potentially get in trouble. Grissom Academy? Where is that? But the ship coming here, fake the signal, investigate Christmas Academy and rescue the student students if necessary. Whoops. Doing that. Rescue the students. Ah, okay, I see now it, it flashes. Server slab, okay. Let's go here. Nice. We're already here. All right, so now we get to choose a squad. Our squad's adding up pretty fast here. Uh, what like what appearances do we have for each of them? That one's pretty cool. That's pretty cool too.
I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see if he wears the helmet every time too though. If he does, I might not stick with it, but if he doesn't, then we'll see. Um, modify. Modify. So we have the katana or scimitar. Stick with the katana. Air, so we'll give him this. We'll stick with the mantis. Let me make sure that, okay. Every time you get one of those weapon um, things, you're always, you're still able to use them. Uh, the, whatever it's called. The attachments, modifications, that kind of stuff. Cool. Try to unlock this for the squad. Garrus, um, hmm. He has armor piercing ammo too, though. So maybe I won't need it. Proximity mine. I'm going to give him this too. That way we got the first three for each of those. We need at least one more point for the next one for James. So that's all right. And there's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy, this is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh boy, can I? position. We'll be back. Yeah, come here. He does take the helmet off during conversations. That is some bulky armor there. Jeez. Oh, his comes off too. Commander, I'm locked his in a server piece. room around the corner. Cerberus troops are trying to get in. Oh. 
Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Hey. Well, just tell hey. him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed. But the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. <coughs> they wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frover. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. Sorry, chat. There's a dog, uh, a barking doggo going off behind me, so I've been muting myself a little. There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders in security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. We'll do our best. <laughs> Wait, did she? Be dead, dead? Hear me. How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. Huh. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. We saved them. Commander, I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. Jack. Jack. Shepard. Everyone get 
down. This thing's out of your league. Shepard, keep it off us. Students are still civilians. We need to keep the heat off them. I'm working on it. <laughs> Kaylee said she was putting out an SOS. I had no idea the King of the Boy Scouts would show up. All right, amp check. Prangley, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> Ugh! Damn it! How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide... Alright, uh, there's a dog that's still going haywire so should be nearby. behind me. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. Camera the access. Auto target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Give me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. Commander. Maybe we've got a chance. So our teacher worked with Commander Shepard? That's pretty badass. Yeah. Wonder why she never made it. Find Cerberus laptop. Maybe it's down here. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. Stay cool. good. She reminds me so much of like the sirens from Borderlands. I never, real I never realized that. Especially like in this game, I don't remember her new look at all. I remember her old one a lot. That's okay. That's still pretty good. Data pad. Found it. And we level level up. Manual overrides. Hopefully they are. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. All right, Jack. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. Said, all Stay right, close. Jack. We'll get you out of here. Good.
Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu those guys from above. <laughs> I like it. Keeps them safer, too. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared him in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let's go. He's lucky that that type of training works for, for them, it seems like. Jeez. we're hitting them because we have armor piercing or if our shots are just like really good right now Side door. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one. Mission brief. Kaylee, we're in the atrium. I'm taking a back route to the shuttles. I'll meet you there. Nice one, friendly. We're starting to get more enemies that have like shields and other stuff. I feel like the people that have just health, they go down so quick. But everybody else takes a lot more than just one, uh, one magazine to actually kill. Shield technology. I don't know who you 
are, but stay back. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals... <gasps> 30.1. No way. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Yes. He rescued me from Cerberus. What? Sent me here. He made it quiet. You did a great Holy job crap, keeping yourself safe. Holy crap, you look safe. so different. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks. He looks how better. Does, how does he I not have you. scars? Normandy crew. Sorry. It was never your fault. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. Hmm. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. That's awesome. That's actually really cool. Um, he was a, a character from Mass Effect 2 in the Overload DLC. He was hooked up to an AI, basically. And, uh, wow, there's so many addicts. Um, and basically, he was in a lot of trouble. Um, because his brother hooked him up to the thing, but now he's, uh, he's free, which is pretty cool to see. Um, and yeah, oh, so it's the M96 Maddox, Maddox 2. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. Ooh, chest plate. Dude, I remember this. I actually remember this. Huh. <laughs> It goes in the third person. I don't like the camera shake though. What's going on right now? Pretty close. Cool. Some people you can literally one shot. Another one that was coming.
Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Nice. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes! We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey. If that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she what stops cursing. That? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. What, does she have a swear jar or something? Cause I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Hmm. <laughs> Shepard. Damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal <laughs> on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I really thought he was dead. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. All right, go chat with, wait, Admiral Hackett on the VidCom? Oh, that's right here. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir, but the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Cool. Good, good. 30 second conversation. Uh, okay, so. Next, now we're gonna actually do the Eden Prime mission, but before we do that, um, I am going to. Never know there was a war on. Grab a drink. Commander, you may want to check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory. Cortez in the armory? Or thank you. Meet me on the Citadel. Miranda?
Where was he? The shuttle. I'm coming to get you. Don't you dare. They're I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved, said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking to him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Uh, so we got some new armor here. This one do? It gives us some power damage. Sure. I don't think we have any others. This one gives us melee, but I'm not really using melee right now. Weapon damage. It's not bad. A little weird, but whatever. Open up this one. Weapon upgrades. Maddock, we could get to three already. So I guess if you find the same weapon multiple times while you're out there, then you get more. Um, you get more stuff. Uh, upgrades by itself. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back up to the CIC. And I'm gonna save real quick here. And I'm gonna go grab a drink real quick because I don't know what's hitting me, but I'm getting really tired all of a sudden. And then we'll continue. So I will be right back in a minute or two. So uh, next mission we're doing is Eden Prime. Um. We'll see. I don't know if I ever did this mission before, but I guess uh, I may or may not rem remember once we actually get there. So this one's confusing. It doesn't tell you what the, act what the mission is. It might be meet with the diplomats, but I need to exit it, go to my journal, go to this, now I can look at it. So it's priority Eden Prime. It was discovered a Prothean artifact on Eden Prime land on the planet to recover the artifact. I open the door for Kiar. Okay. Let's do this chat. Oops. Not that. So, do I have to go to each one? I think it's the one that said recover Perthian artifact. 
Let's see if it is. Yep, Eden Prime, there it is. Whoops. Land. So we were supposed to do this one before last mission, but that's okay. Um, now we're doing it. So, do we have to bring Liara? Oh, it seems like we do. So I'm gonna bring Garrus, too. I think all my weapons are good here. Liara, she might have modifications. Forty percent. That's a big one. Cool. I'm gonna need to use that on myself too. It's all good uh, I'm not gonna put any points into armor piercing because we might swap that out eventually five points there sentry turret um, let's do this one so we have increased turret shield by 40% and the damage or upgraded to do that I'm gonna do this one Increase the shield and damage. Uh, Garrus, what should I give you? If I can even, no, I can't. Yara, what should I give you? Pure biotic, let's give her that. That's good. Eden Prime, this is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Brandon. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Yeah. On the beach. Seems like more than just three years ago. Yeah. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. You always did prefer a straight-up fight. And you're always good at helping me find them. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. Our survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close yeah, to the like... dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you yeah, should have a few minutes. Longer. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With yeah. luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. I uh, I think he's a year young. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. Oops, didn't mean to do that. This was a beautiful colony once. It survived, Sarah. It can survive this. I grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move on to another. But you'd still remember.
thought that was a weapon at first. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's Eden resistance. Prime support. Maybe it will help them fight back nice. against Cerberus. Wow, all from one there, little data that's the piece that, that we just down found. Into the dig site. That makes a decent difference. <laughs> Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. A Prothean. Like ah, the I remember this. Or those bodies we found back on Ilos. Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Galactic community, you think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. The way you describe them sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, Finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are. Uh, one second, chat. I was looking up my boy Thane, and he's not, he's not All right, here. let's get moving before more of them come back. Thane was honestly probably my, my favorite person. Thane and Garrus were such a good squad. Thane and uh, God. um, Legion, good squad. I'm trying to think who else. Uh, Kasumi. Kind of sucks even that with the saving everybody in the Cerberus second game. To find the stasis deactivation signal. You don't get them all back on your team again. You still have to do like kind of extra searching, finding new. They were people. gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. Target spotted. 
But does that have them fire on their teammates? Oh, sabotage does. There, that lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. I definitely remember this now because I thought this guy was pretty sick. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how they sealed the life pods. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Nice. Leveling so fast. I was trying to find videos, but apparently there's really intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Nice. Uh, there's really not a lot of uh, Easter egg videos out there for the Mass Effect series. I guess because they're, they're such uh, old games now that back then it was kind of like all about reading guides online and not really like YouTube Easter egg videos. And if there was, they were like 1080p or like or well 720p or something like that. I don't know. I forget But there's really not a lot. There's some starting to pop up with legendary edition though, which is cool, but Empire would fall. It won't. 
We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. I am. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Understood that one too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Backup forces are here. Oh really? That guy sets the the engineer sets up the the drone. Huh. Yeah, it's funny. I saw a uh, um. One sec. I saw a clip of the division. It made me want to play the division. I wonder how that game's the doing. I, I haven't kept up with it across. for a while. Another way across. The only other way would be going up there. Seems like. Or, oh, no, down here. Yeah, I haven't been keeping up with the division. I feel like. It kind of just fell off. The DLC that they came out with was pretty cool though. But that was about the last thing I did. Same thing with, um, I haven't played Breakpoints, uh, DLC for the longest time. I'm transmitting the signal. Someday I will. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. <laughs> Look at his eyes. That's funny. I shot them all before they could even get off the transport. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. Nice. I saw a supply cache in the building next door if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Heavy mech, don't let it get close. Wait, can you make it go? Oh my god. You can. You can sabotage it. That's so cool. What happens if you sabotage a human? Do they turn on their enemies? Alright, they're friends. 
there. You can open the life pod now. Nice. There, you've got it. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardments. Get to your life pod now! Fifty thousand years. That's insane. So you were reading me, while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs> nice. A living Prothea. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. 
Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, Rob? No problem, man. I'm actually... You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art. Killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? 
To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Nice. Yeah, I remember uh, Javik now. He's a cool dude. He's uh, probably one of my uh, favorite characters too. Let's chat with him real quick. You have more questions, Commander? Never mind. Nothing more. <laughs> Commander. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Interesting. Neat. What I'm going to do is actually... So, Rob, I know you're just coming by, but I'm going to make tonight a little bit of a shorter stream because I'll be on all day tomorrow. Um, and I'm actually going to go do something with my family for a bit. So, uh, we are going to chill right here for now. Um, tomorrow I have my haircut in the morning and right after I'll be hopping on pretty much to play all day long. Um, 